What's up guys, today I'm gonna to go through how to create this pixel wipe effect. So I'm using this logo as an example and it's a PNG file, which means it doesn't have a background. So the first thing I'm going to do is go up to the generators tab over here and go down to solids and let's drag a white solid into the timeline and just trim that down. Now, if we go over here to the effects tab, go to mask and keying. I want to use the graduated mask on this and I want to create a wipe from left to right, but you can also create different animations. You could have a mask starting in the middle and then getting bigger, or you could have it coming down from the top or the bottom. So let's start this mask off, off to the side of the logo. Let's go to the beginning of that solid in the timeline and go up here and add a keyframe on the center. Move forward in the timeline a few seconds or however long you want the animation to be and then drag the mask over so it covers the logo. So now we should have the solid wiping over the logo. Next, I'm going to add a distortion effect. So over in my effects tab, distortion, let's go to underwater and drag that on. And then let's go to stylize and use the pixelate effect and change the amount of pixels to around about 50, or you can make the pixels really big or really small, depending on what you want to do. With the underwater effect, let's decrease the size, turn down the speed and turn the refraction up a little bit. We can always come back and change these effects so it doesn't matter too much. So now we have this pixelated wipe across the logo and then let's change the blend mode on this to stencil alpha. So now we have the, the mask revealing the logo. Let's select both of these, right click and go to new compound clip. Now let's copy and paste this one. So hold down option, click and drag up in the timeline. Let's copy it two times and then on the bottom one, select it and press V to disable it for now. And on this top one, let's change the blend mode to silhouette alpha and just offset it by a few frames. So we're just left with this kind of band of pixels, which wipes across the logo. Now we can select these right click and go to new compound clip and re-enable the bottom video clip. So we have the complete logo and on this top layer, we can start adding some effects to give it that digital look. So let's go to the effects tab over here. I'm going to use the aura effect, drag that on. And in the settings, let's select the tint and change the color to try that for now, like a red, turn down the outer radius and the inner radius. I'm going to set to around about four and turn the brightness up. And I'm going to change the tint to red. Whilst I'm in the light section of effects, I'm going to add the glow effect. And then let's go to color and add the hue and saturation effect and just drag that above the glow effect. And over here, we can change the color if you wanted to, or you can keyframe it so it cycles through the colors. I'm just going to keep this one red to match the logo. And if we turn the value and saturation up like a glowy effect, I need to get rid of that outline. So if I go into my compound clip and just turn the scale up by like 1% and it should get rid of the outline. If you wanted to mess with the colors a bit more, you could go up to the color board and add a color curves, drag the color curves above the hue and saturation. And then we can go back and make this really bright. Could even mess with the other colors. We can also add a glitchy effect. So if we go to stylize and add the bad TV effect onto this and just turn it right down just to make it look a bit more glitchy. So now we have the effects added. If you wanted to go back and change the pixels or the mask, then just double click on the top layer, double click on the top layer there. And on the solid original solid we made, we have the pixelate effect and we can make them smaller or bigger to change the effect and also the underwater effect. If you wanted to change the pixel like pattern and then we can go back and that will affect the main layer that we made. So now to add a final glow onto this, if we copy and paste the top layer and on this one, let's go to the blur effects and add a Gaussian blur onto this. We can add a nice glow to the outside by just turning up the Gaussian blur amount. 
and then setting the blend mode to add and then using the opacity we can change how much the glow affects the video and yeah that's pretty much the finished effect if you like that effect then i'll leave the link to the drag and drop preset in the description there's seven different styles to choose from in the preset pack and you can just drag those onto your video clip all of the settings have been added so you can change the scale of the pixels and the direction of the wipe the color all of that stuff and these can be used on titles, logos, videos. So yeah, I'll leave the link to that in the description if you want to check it out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.